All right, so this is gonna be the first video in a series I'm gonna make as kind of a beginner's guide to getting really fast at clock. In this video, I'll go over hardware, so kind of what clock should you get if you don't know, and also some other things that would be helpful for not only practicing clock, but also practicing some other events as well. I'm gonna talk for a minute about why I decided to create this series and kind of what my plan is for it right now, like what the videos are going to be on. So if you don't care about that, go to this timestamp. But I decided to create this series just because I feel like there's not really a guide to how to get fast at clock. Like with 3x3 three three, uh, videos on like how to get sub 20, sub 15. But with clock, there's kind of just here's how to solve a clock and then boom, a bunch of really fast people. And that's mainly due to the fact that clock is a really easy event. There's no algorithms. There's not really any advanced method that you need to learn in order to get fast, but I still wanted to make a guide for people who maybe don't really know how to get fast. Maybe they're a less experienced speedkeeper who doesn't quite know how to practice, or just they want to get fast and they're not quite sure how to do it. Another reason why I created this was just because I wanted to create more content that was different than my usual, here's a really fast solve I got, or a fast average or something, because even that got kind of boring for me and I just wanted to make something different. My current plan for this series is to make five videos. Obviously this first one, as you can see by the title and what I've already said in the intro, it's gonna be on clock hardware. The next one I'm planning to do is just gonna be a tutorial on how to actually solve a clock and then also my thoughts on the no flip method, just kind of why I don't use it, but why you might wanna use it. And then in the third video, I'll go over how you should practice if you wanna get really fast. And then the last two videos will just kind of be on how to deal with lucky cases. The first one being really easy lucky cases that everyone should know how to, you know, take advantage of. And the second one being more advanced lucky cases that you don't really need to know unless you're trying to get really fast. And I decided to split that into two videos just so that they wouldn't get too long. The most important thing for hardware for clock is what specific clock you're going to use. The vast majority of world-class solvers use the Qi clock. However, if you're a beginner, I would actually recommend getting the Shangxiao clock for a couple of reasons. First of all, the Shangxiao clock is only $11, whereas the Qi clock is $33. The Shangxiao clock is pretty good for its price, whereas the Qi clock is just pretty good. It's three times as expensive as the Shangxiao. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to waste money on a puzzle that you don't know if you're going to like, I would recommend getting the Shangxiao clock as your first clock because you save money if you're just trying to try out the event and you don't know if you want to spend $33 on a single puzzle that you might not like. I would also recommend the Shangxiao clock for beginners as their first clock because it's slower and easier to control. And after you set it up, it's actually a pretty good clock up until about the 10 second mark where you would want to switch to the Qi. The Qi is a bit fast for beginners. They might find it hard to control and it might discourage them from getting better at the event just because they're struggling to control the puzzle. However, once you get to about the 10 second range where you're like, okay, I do like this event and I want to get faster at it and I want to get faster than about 10 seconds. At that point, I would recommend investing in a Qi clock because it is more expensive, but it's definitely worth it if you're trying to get to world class or even just, again, faster than about 10 seconds. It's it, it's just better than the Shangxiao clock in every way. And yeah, it's just really good, but I wouldn't recommend it to people who are just trying out the event and are just looking for a clock to get us their very first clock. There are two other clocks on the market, but I wouldn't recommend getting them. The first clock is the Rubik's brand, Rubik's clock. Uh, it's like the original clock. However, it's discontinued. They don't make them anymore. So you would have to find one and buy it used. And then you would have to hope that it's already set up, maybe already magnetized. And you would have to hope that it's already good because if you're a beginner, you're probably not going to be able to set up a Rubik's brand clock in a way that would make it actually good to solve on and good to learn how to solve a clock on. 
There's also the Lingao clock, which, like the Shangxiao clock, is $11. However, it's apparently way worse out of the box. I've never tried a stock Lingao clock. I don't own one, but it's apparently way worse. And the Shangxiao has magnetic pins. The Lingao came out, like, a bunch of years ago. It doesn't have magnetic anything. And it's, you know, terrible out of the box. So, yeah, you could spend, like... 80 something dollars maybe more expensive maybe less expensive i don't know i haven't looked for like a fully set up out in a while but you could pay a lot of money for a f really well set up out clock but with the chi being really good especially if you just spend a couple more dollars to get a little bit of lube and then set it up on your own since the chi is magnetic and like completely magnetic and it doesn't have any springs or anything it's just a lot better and it's not worth spending more money on a different clock, in my opinion. A couple other things that I would recommend getting if you don't already own them is a stack mat and a mat because these are just like really helpful for practicing. For stuff like three by three, you can get away without like using a mat and like just using your phone timer. But especially with clock, it's helpful to start a solve from this position because not only is that what you're going to do in comp but the clock needs to like stand on its own and so if you're like holding the clock it's already just kind of a weird way to start and so I'd recommend getting that and then I'd also recommend getting a screwdriver you probably already own one but if you don't that's kind of weird get a screwdriver but you'll need a screwdriver to open up your clock in order to set it up because clocks are held together by like this outer clear layer that goes together in two pieces and then those two pieces are held together by screws and so in order to open up the clock and set it up you'll need screws and that's that goes for both the chi clock and as you can see the shangxiao clock and then you'll also need some sort of heavy silicone lube i use weight five from the cubicle and you'll need that just to set up your clock and you should be setting up your clock. I recently made a tutorial on how to do so. So I'll link that in the description and you should go follow that uh, in order to set up your clock. If you have the Shangxiao clock, I'll also link Kit Clement's tutorial because putting this clock back together is a bit different than putting the Qi clock back together. And if you're a beginner, it might be a bit confusing. So I'll link his tutorial as well because it's on this specific clock and that might be more helpful for putting this clock back together because there's a bunch of springs and stuff in here and there's like no springs in here. So it might be more confusing for a beginner. But either way, setting up your clock is worth it and all you need to do that is a heavy silicone loop. I would also recommend if you're not already doing so using some sort of timer app. I use CS Timer. Uh, it's just really helpful to generate scrambles, which is especially helpful in clock, and then also keep track of your times. You can use, like, literally any device for this. I use, like, an old Chromebook I got in, like, 2016 for free. But, like, literally anything works. It's just helpful to get scrambles and track your times.